All right, good to go. Uh, we are. We, oh, see. Okay, <laughs> let's start now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Everything. Do, do you want? Do you not want to do these segments anymore? Should we just stop doing these? You're not into them. I am. We just came from eating. You're not I just want to lay down. Okay. Brunch reviews. I want to go lay down. Yo, this is Where's Brunch podcast. <laughs> brunch reviews. <laughs> Trina is yawning. <sighs> as she does every time we shoot these. Because if you shoot right after you've been eating and drinking, you're tired. You, you just want to nap right now. You just want to lay down. You want to put on your sweatpants. You just want to chill. And that's what I want to do. So. We, we came to the conclusion that after your wine trip in San Francisco, <laughs> California, you actually needed two days of rest, not just one day. I probably Sunday. need three. Maybe three. Yeah, I'm do tired. A lot. Yeah. All right, man. Let's, you want to get to it? Let's go. Today, we went to Junction Bakery and Bistro. And what is that considered? Mount Vernon. They call it Mount Vernon area or Delray? Is it Delray or is it Mount Vernon? I don't know. It's, it's Mount Vernon Avenue right there. But it's in Delray. But it's in Delray. I believe. So, uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Yay. And here's our review. We yeah. have four categories. Mimosas, food, ambiance, service. And then if there's a bonus that you want to give, mm-hmm. you give your bonus. Um, and this is a four, what is it, a five-star system, right? Yes. Five-star system, five being the best, zero being the absolute worst. You ready? I'm ready. You're up first. Ladies first. Trina on mimosas. Okay, so they had something on the menu that was the apple cider mimosa. And I was very skeptical because I've had an experience, I'm sure of it, with one that wasn't very good. And so, but... It just sounded good, so I wanted to try it. So I got the apple cider mimosa, and I would have to give it four stars. Four stars. I'm going to give it four. It was really great. It was balanced. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they make the apple cider Mm -hmm. in-house. I got spices. Like, I got nutmeg on on the finish. Yeah, you did. And it was really, really nice. And I did see a little bit of spice in the bottom of the glass, so... Mm. You know, maybe that was cinnamon and nutmeg or something, or maybe all spice. Yeah, maybe so, and and that's the thing. Like we we tend to straight uh, to stay away from apple mimosas, but they just call them apple mimosas, which makes me think it's just apple juice. Apple and, juice. You know what I'm saying? And, and the bubbly, but this one on the menu, the apple cider thing, it sounded it sounded really good. It was really really good. I'm only giving it four stars because I want another one, but you would have to get up and go back in line and buy it because that was the setup of the spot. So maybe this is a good, a good space. Is this a good space to talk about that? Um, or do you, well, no. You, you, we got to touch, touch on the place itself. and Right. Uh, you know? Yeah, because we'll, we'll talk a, about it. A little funky obvious. things about it. Mm-hmm. So mimosas, I got a traditional mimosa. It was, um, it was good. It was light-skinned. Uh-huh. And, that, and that's a good thing. That's good. So thing. it wasn't anything super spectacular. They only have two mimosas on the menu. Mm-hmm. This apple cider mimosa. And the orange. Um, I was interested in the apple cider as well, but I just decided to get something different. So just in case mm-hmm. you, know, you didn't like yours, you can have some of mine or something like that, or um, and vice versa. Yeah. yeah. But you know, uh, so I give it a four. It, okay. was, it was a good. It was a good solid. It was four. So, yeah. It was no Saint Germain in sight, but you know. nah, it wasn't Saint Germain there. You, you, just, you get your bubbles and you get your add in. But it was good. Next is so we'll do. Let's just do two, two the. First two, and then mm-hmm. we can talk about the, the place itself a little bit. Okay. And then go into the last Cool. Little. That might be a nice format going forward. I like that. Huh? Yeah. A little fancy. I'm just producing on the spot. Uh, food. I thought the food was good. What um, did you get? I got the Junction breakfast because mm-hmm. it's gluten free. Um, it came with two eggs, potatoes that were with um, sauteed peppers and onions, and bacon or avocado or whatever you could get as a side so i got that with the bacon and avocado i was disappointed in the potatoes Mm -hmm. because potatoes are a thing you know when you go to brunch especially since i can't dabble in everything i was like i'm not getting french toast i'm not getting waffles i'm not getting all these other things so that's like my you know my heavy part counting on the potatoes i'm counting on the potatoes right now at this point with all meals if i have them Um, they felt like they had been sitting for a while and they were dry, like they weren't fresh cooked. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I would have to give the breakfast 
A 3.5 because they sprinkled sea salt on the avocado. Yeah, so it gets yeah, a 3.5. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'm, 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 it would just be a 3. Yeah. But a 3.5 for the sea salt sprinkled on my avocado side, which I plopped on the eggs. Um, yeah, it was it was all right. It wasn't like a five-star meal. It wasn't a four-star meal. It was a three-star with a half for, mm -hmm. <laughs> for the, the sea salt. So I got the uh, French toast. Uh, they have, it's a bakery. So they have a brioche French, French toast on the menu. They also have French toast sticks on the menu, which I was very interested in. But I wanted to try the traditional French toast first. Mm -hmm. uh, and it came with a side of potatoes. And then I ordered two egg scrambled meat uh, soft on the side. I share your sentiment with the potatoes. The potatoes were, some of them were like even kind of chewy, like stale, chewy type of thing. Yeah. Um, they were dry. They had been sitting there. You can tell. Um, and that's no good. When you, come on, man. That's, that's no good. And they're, they're, bu they're busy buzzing, but we want some fresh potatoes. I mean, that's, that's a very important piece of the meal. Mm -hmm. um, the eggs were not really scrambled. They scrambled them in a bowl, and then they poured them on a grill and just kind of flat, let it cook and then flat them They off. folded them. Now, it was impressive that they were still soft because typically those, those cook a bit hard when you cook them like that. Mm -hmm. They were still soft, but there was no effort put into the scrambled. Like, you know, you want scrambled eggs, you want them fluffy, scrap whipped, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and scramble yeah. on the grill. Um, and then they have very little seasoning in them. Um, mm. The potatoes had a decent seasoning, but they were fresh, so it's hard to enjoy that. Um, but the French toast. <laughs> it was good. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The French toast came with three thick brioche slices of French toast. Somehow they got this crusty crust on the outside. They weren't deep fried. Right. Crusty crust on the outside. Crusty crust. It the batter that they used for that French toast was top freaking notch. That was one of the best French toasts I've had. Really top five? Really, at, that I've had in this area, I would say top five. Nice. I would I would tell anybody if you're, if you're a French toast lover. Where's homegirl? Lachelle? Shelly. Shelly. If you, you love French toast just like I do, she's part of the original brunch crew. If you want some French toast, go try it. If I went back there to get the French toast, I would just get the French toast with a side of something else. I don't know what. Maybe a side of French toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some French toast with a side of French toast sticks. Yeah. That's what she's going to do? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um... And so I will give them, so, you know, with all that said, I'm also going to give them a 3.5. Okay. Um, they could have easily scored higher, but those potatoes were trash. They weren't trash. I ate most of mine, but. Yeah, I ate most of mine, except for the parts that were hard and chewy. Yeah, or... it became a functional thing for me because the, the French toast was so sweet, and I kind of wanted something savory, a little saltier to yeah. balance that out and whatnot. Um, but, you know, that's that. So let's talk about this place a little bit. Different for us. Mm -hmm. Not the normal that we would go to with the vibe and seating and guaranteed seating, first of all, because there isn't guaranteed seating. You can't make reservations online. Can't make reservations. So when we walked in, I was a little mm -hmm. confused on how it all worked because there was no one to greet you to say, hey, this is here, take your order here, and then you can be seated, or we'll seat you and you can take your order. And so I had to ask one of the guys who was walking with food. I said, like, hey, how, you know, how does this work? Do we seat ourselves? And he said, you order first, and then you go have a seat. Yep. So that was a little, you It was know, interesting. It wasn't like a terrible thing. No, it wasn't. We had a little bit of a wait for yeah. someone to clear out. Because it was jumping in there. Every, it was busy. Every table was busy. Every table was busy. Everyone had food. People were sitting outside on this And people were sitting day. outside. I mean, because it... It wasn't raining. Nope. And it wasn't freezing. It wasn't bad out. No, it wasn't bad out. So it was still. You would have got cold, though. Yeah. yeah you get cold. I would have needed a different sort of outerwear. Right, right. To, you know, warmer. But yeah, so that was that was different for us. Yeah, so you order up front. Go online. Then they give you a little number. You find Ding. the table. You sit at the table, and they're like, we'll bring your mimosas when your food comes out. Yes. Right? And that took a little, a little while. So that well, let's let's we'll say that for service. So to her to your point earlier, with that, and we sat there and watched the line get long. If we wanted another mimosa, we got to go wait in line. Yeah, 
That's a thumbs down. I don't like that. It's not. It's not one of those. Yeah, they're not servicing you. No. Per se. No. Right. You get up, Pause. you get your food, and you go and you sit down and mm-hmm. you wait, you eat, and you get you out. Get up out of there. You get up out. You, you tip up, up front. Yeah, like I could have just put on my sweatpants. <laughs> And it's a neighborhood spot. It's a neighborhood spot. People are walking in, people with their kids. The bread you know, and the pastries the, look so good, though. They did, and I didn't see anything gluten-free, so I couldn't try anything. Yeah. So let's get into the ambiance then. Um, I didn't hear any music playing. There was, because there was no music playing. There was no music playing. So it didn't give me the vibes of a cozy, ooh, I want to stay here spot. Um, it did give me the, oh, we could come here in sweats. Real quick, get something to eat and go back home. We just got done playing couch. kickball. Yeah. Let's stop at Junction real quick. I yeah. Some grab, toes. Mm-hmm. grab that and go home. Grab that and then go home. So that was a vibe it gave me. And because I'm so used to the other way, it took some getting used to and warming up to, oh, this is a different vibe. This is a different idea. This is a like walkable in the neighborhood yeah. space to go to. So I would give it. A three. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to give it a three. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm be honest. I mean, I agree with all the things, the, the points that you made. I thought it was nice, though. I thought it was a nice spot. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can tell brunch is like maybe something they added later on. Right. Like it's really a bakery it's coffee a bakery. shop. It's a bakery coffee shop. It's a bakery Pastries, coffee shop. Pastries. Sit down, whatnot. have um, your coffee. Uh, upscale I mean, they, Starbucks. Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe. But you know what? To their credit, they do. We, do, we did see some burgers and some, some stuff on being brought out to other folks that we were like, yo. When I saw a sausage and egg biscuit. The biscuit was like yo. that high. It was unbelievable. And I can't eat the biscuit, but I want it. <laughs> right. I was like, I can't eat it, but I want it. So the ambiance, was, it's, it's a chill spot. A family. In a neighborhood, quick little neighborhood spot. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I rock with that and whatnot. But from, from a brunch perspective, mm-hmm. I have to give it a three. Yeah. As well. Absolutely. Um, you, you just gave it a three, too. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll give it a three. So. Okay. Um, service. Well, I mean, considering we had to sit down and wait for our food, I feel like it was timely enough to give me the feeling that everything would be fresh cooked and everything would have been hot when we sat down. Mm-hmm. So when the potatoes were wont wont, I was like, we're going to sit here waiting for a couple of minutes. Like, what the hell? But to their defense, it wasn't that long, and that's probably... That probably explains the potatoes. Mm-hmm. They had them potatoes ready. They just the had to make the French toast, yeah. the eggs, the eggs, and I don't and know how the bacon, bacon was. The bacon was fine, but yeah, it had been cooked already. You mm-hmm. know, they do it in sheets or whatever. Mm, um, yep, yep, yep. I felt like the wait that we had for the mimosa was not good. That wasn't good. It was too long <laughs> for him. He apologized for it too. He did apologize when, the, when we long. did. The guy did eventually. First time he came. He came with one wrong drink. He didn't yes. come with my apple cider mimosa. So then he had to take it back. And another guy came and brought it out, and he apologized yes. for the scrub. Two point five. Woo! Woo! Two point five. Yeah, because we no. had our food for a minute, and you want to have your drink to you. I wouldn't mind having my drink before the food before came out. Before the food came out, because then you know you I might, might get, get another one. one. <laughs> Thing. <laughs> Bing, oh, that they, point. They need to change that. I don't know, that was just his mimo- idea. Hand what? me the mimosa right as I order, because if I got to wait, just hand it to me so I can drink and wait, okay? <coughs> give me the mimosa, man. Yeah, give me the mimosa, man. And um, so service, <laughs> um, I agree with all those points, too. Yes, it took a, it took a, the mimosa didn't come out. We had to tell them about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we laughing. We laughing at you. Know? I'm just laughing at my score. I'm just laughing. <laughs> the two point five. Yeah. Well, um, and they didn't give us or offer any water. That that's the other thing. There was no water. You was the, the no water, water no but I did see their standing water container over there. It was like a walk up near where the ketchup mm, and everything so that's, was. So, so, so it truly is a neighborhood spot. You have to know. You have I saw, to know. I saw somebody walk up and get some. And you I'm have like, to know. I'm not doing it. I'm dying of thirst. I got home right now. I'm dying of thirst. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, all like right. That. So, I'm not going to go. I was going to go 2.5 too because of that water thing, but I just didn't know. But they should let you know. But I know, and I still got a 2.5. Yeah, I hear you, man. I'm going to go with a three. I'll give them a three. Hmm. Because that French toast, man, it makes up for it. You feeling charitable. I could have been eating in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> and that brings the dark. out of the light. That place is it. In the dark. Anyway, yeah. um, do you have any bonus? Nope. No bonus. No bonus. I don't have any bonus either. Yeah. I don't have any bonus. They have a parking lot, but it's a tiny ass parking it's lot. It's a tiny parking lot. I think it's a great neighborhood spot. We know. Now we know. Yeah. So maybe I would get like a tea and a mimosa to hold me. It's like I can balance it out. It's like somewhere you go when you're on the way somewhere or on your way back from somewhere. Yeah. This is the church people. Or, like, <laughs> or, or when we having like a lazy day and you don't feel like doing nothing major so we can just go get that. Yeah. And come back home. It's not one of those, um, let's get the crew of 10 people and go have No, because there's not, not even enough seating not for enough. large groups. There's not enough seating. Let me add this up. All right, add it up. Add it up, add it up. Oh, shit. All right. Grand total. Grand total is a 3.3 stars for Junction, Bistro, and Bakery. 3.3. Bakery and Bistro, pardon. 2.3. No, so you know, it's mid. When I was there, mm -hmm. we were sitting there thinking, in my mind, I was thinking, this is mid. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it's mid. It's, mid. It's, not, it's not terrible. No. It's not super duper. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Except for the French toast. Yeah. Um, it's, it's mid. So, um, you know, this is what we do. But, you know, you, you and your boo, you know, y'all gallivanting around, holding hands in Delray or whatever, and you want to stop somewhere and have some brunch real quick. You, it's, it's not bad. It's yeah, not they bad. got coffee. Yeah. They got sangria. Tea, all that stuff. They got a whole bunch of stuff on the menu. What's those? Bloody Marys? Bloody Marys, he said. Yeah, they have Bloody Marys. That is our review. That is it. That's it, baby. We out. We out.